Hey everybody, today I have a book haul for you and it's pretty big, so I'm going to get started. I picked up The Goddess Test by Amy Carter. It's another something on mythology, which is cool since I started reading the Percy Jackson series. I kind of got into mythology, so. We have the second book in the series, Goddess Interrupted. I also have Jessica's Guide to Dating on the Dark Side by Beth Fantasky. Yeah, that's right. Now this is the second book. I don't I haven't read the first, I haven't read the third, I haven't read I haven't even read this one. But I picked it up at Goodwill, so I'll eventually get the first and third one from probably from the library or something. And it's called The Ruby Notebook by Laura Rissau. And again, as always, I apologize for butchering the last names. Geography Club by Brent Hardinger. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Hate List by Jennifer Brown. The Day After by Lisa Schroeder. The first book in the Hourglass trilogy, The Hourglass Door. This is by Lisa Magnum. All right, As You Wish by Jackson Pierce. I've heard. Many other booktubers say how much they love this book. They love Jackson Pierce's books. I believe the other ones are Sisters Red and Sweetly. And they're telling retellings of Hansel and Gretel. And what was the other one? Little Red Riding Hood. So those sound interesting. And I'm kind of on a genie kick since I got this one. I also got The Art of Wishing which is also to do with genies, so that'll be interesting. Interesting take on genies. And I managed to pick up the second book, Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. I haven't read The Daughter of Smoke a Bone yet, but I picked this up at Schuler's because it was only nine bucks. And I went to the pitch Dark Days in Lansing, the Schuler's there, and I didn't intend to pick this up because I went there to see Kiara Cass and got the selection and the elite sign, and I figured, well, I'm here anyway, I may as well get this book, Reboot, by Amy Tintera, and I did get it, oh, here it is, there, signed, and I got a fancy schmancy bookmark to go with it, which is really cool. Everyone has been raving about this book, and I had to get it. I actually was in Schuler's today, the one in Grand Rapids, and it actually had a little warning there saying about mature content, so no one under grade 7 should be reading it. I'm like, Whew, really? That sounds awesome. And this is The Fifth Wave by Rick L Yancey. Yancey. And I have the second book in the Legend series, Prodigy, by Marie Lu. And if you hear in the background some weird noise, that's just my husband being a weirdo. It's his birthday today, so I guess he gets to be as weird as he wants. <laughs> we have Unraveling by Elizabeth Norris, who I got to meet her... I didn't get her books when I was there. I didn't really. I only had enough to get 
one technically. So I got the first one. Um, I got it from Barnes and Noble, but I did have something of hers signed since she was there and she was giving them out. Unbreakable extra content. Um, Unbreakable. I actually got this, I got this today at Schuler, someone on Alpine. They had an autographed copy, so I asked them to hold it for me, and I took some books back, so they gave me some store credit. And I applied it towards the sequel. <laughs> Alright, we have Icons by Margaret Stoll. She is one of the authors of the Beautiful Creature series. Actually, um, Cami Garcia has a book coming out. I think it's I think it's also called Unbreakable, and that comes out in October. And I have I think I have that pre-ordered. So I thought, okay, Beautiful Creatures was an awesome series. So I was like, I have to pick up icons. Now I have both these authors, Andrea Kramer, I have her Nightshade series, and I also have David Leviathan's book Every Day. I haven't read that one, I've only read the first in the Nightshade series, and it's good so far, but books that are over 400 and some pages, they take a while to get through. So I give myself the time to be able to read them, and then also I read another book while I'm reading that one. So. This one is Invisibility. I've heard naysayers say, eh, it's not that good, and some say it is. So, it's kind of iffy. It's up in the air now. I'm actually nervous about reading it, but I'm going to wait until I finish before I form my own opinion. Now, this book I picked up because I love, I'm obsessed with water for elephants. I mean, if you've seen my animal fiction, memoir, what have you, um, book shelf tour, then you know that I have a serious love for Christoph Waltz and Robert Pattinson too. Anyway, I'm getting off track. The Time I Joined the Circus by J.J. Howard. I saw it was about circuses and I'm like, oh my god, water for elephants! So that's why I'm after that. I have the Last book in the Gone series, Light. I haven't read Gone yet, but I did blind buy the whole series. I do that sometimes. I hear they're so good. And last but not least, I'm going to actually remember which book is in which order, because last time I tried to do a video, it turned out it was upside down. So, um, and I ended up calling book two, book three, and then book three, book two, without realizing it until after, like, a whoopsie! So I have the Chaos Walking Trilogy, The Knife of Never- Blech, You can't see my face, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Apocalyptic book. Okay, this one's book two. The Ask and the Answer. They're riding on horseback. Is this a western? Maybe because they don't have vehicles. I wouldn't think they would in an apocalypse. Where do you get the gasoline? But I've seen The Walking Dead, and I know they can procure gasoline from abandoned vehicles. But, that's enough of Walking Dead right now. The last book, Monsters of Men. Oh my gosh, something's being lit on fire. That's not good. Okay, so that is my enormous book haul. I have one other place that I'm going to go to. It's the Muskegon Area District Library Administration. It's a big book sale. Kind of reminds me of the book bash I went to in the beginning of May. And after that, I have sworn oath. I'm even going to sign a contract saying that for the rest of the summer until my birthday on August 24th, I will not be buying any more books. And I actually have to sign a contract because I know how easily I can go against my word and... That's just not good. That that I can't do that. I can't lose trust in people. That, that That's not good. So I'm going to do that. I have a bazillion books I need to be reading. And I think my goal is going to be to get my trilogy books finished. Like Shades of Earth, Clockwork Princess, 
Um, what were some of the others? Uh, reached. I was not happy at all with the cross. I was bored halfway through. It felt like the frickin' journey to Middle Earth. And I haven't even read The Lord of the Rings. I've seen the movies. They're okay. They're not great. And the, I'm sure you're wondering why the hell I would go and see them if I don't think they're that great. But I went for the company. I'll just say that. So, yeah. So I'm hopefully having higher hopes for Reached. Oh, and Dearly Beloved, the sequel to Dearly Departed. I'm looking forward to that one. Because Bram is a really hot zombie. Just like our in Warm Bodies. I'm excited for that movie to come out next month. Because he's really hot too. Okay, enough about that. We're done. Everyone have a wonderful, wonderful Memorial Weekend. I hope you read a lot of books. And I will be back with you in probably about a week. See ya.